So Andrew Carnegie said something very simple. See, I can keep my mind focused on something for five minutes at a stretch. Five minutes. Can any of you do it? You heard of uh, Andrew Carnegie. When Andrew Carnegie started his enterprise, in a short span of time, he became so super successful and made so much money. At that time, okay, this is not the age of uh, Google or Facebook or Twitter where in two years they become multi-billionaires and all those, those days, people had to set up manufacturing this and that and make money which would take decades or generations. So this guy made so much money in a short span of time, people suspected, the US government suspected he's doing some malpractice. So set up a, a Senate investigation committee. So they questioned him in every way possible and they found nothing wrong with his business. Then they asked, how do you manage to make so much money and be so successful? So Andrew Carnegie said something very simple. See, I can keep my mind focused on something for five minutes at a stretch. Five minutes. Can any of you do it? All the senators, they thought, what's the problem with five minutes? And he set up an experiment. They tried to keep their attention, they couldn't keep it for a few seconds. One moment here, one moment there, this is the fate of most human beings. So then he said, you should not be running United States. We are considering information, we are mistaking information for intelligence. An entrepreneur or anybody who wants to navigate through any situation needs intelligence, not just information. Information may be useful on the side, but it is intelligence which will allow you to navigate through a particular situation in a unique way, not the way somebody else is doing. Let's say you want to build a house. If you start thinking, oh, I want to build a house, to build a house I need fifty lakhs, but I have only fifty rupees in my pocket, not possible, not possible, not possible. The moment you say not possible, you're also saying I don't want it. So on one level, you're creating a desire that you want something. On another level, you're saying I don't want it. So in this conflict, it may not happen. Right now, the problem with your mind is, Every moment it is changing its direction. It is like you want to travel somewhere and every two steps if you keep changing your direction, the question of you reaching the destination is very remote unless it happens by chance. Now about wanting more. Wanting to be more is natural in a human being. Whoever you are, whatever you are, you want to be something more than what you are right now. If you know only money, you're thinking more money. So if you really look at it, what they're looking for is not more, they're looking for all. The longing to expand is inevitable within the human being. Now if you want to expand in a limitless way, trying to do it physically is a foolish thing. Your desire is fantastic, infinite. Expansion is a fantastic desire. The method is hopeless. This will not happen by having more cars or more bags, whatever is your thing. This can only happen if you transcend the limitations of physicality. This is where yoga comes in. But the reality of the existence is, this is one living cosmos and you blew your soap bubble. When you were children, you blew soap bubbles, your bubble and somebody else's bubble was distinctly different. The moment it burst, my air and your air, there's no such thing. Similarly, this, we have blown these bubbles and without the rest of it being there, we cannot be here. So knowing this experientially is yoga, that you understand, not intellectually, but experientially you know that your existence is not individualistic, but it's universal. Money in your pocket is good. If it stays in the pocket, if it enters your head, it becomes a perversion. For most people it's entered their head and it's become a perversion. Keep the money in your pocket, makes life easy and good. You can sit and meditate. 
Yes? <laughs> if you have enough money that you don't have to work for your living tomorrow, you can just take off one month and just meditate, isn't it? Which the man who is struggling for money to, for tomorrow's food cannot do, even if he wishes to do. So money in the pocket is very good. Money in your head, that's a perversion which will destroy you. It's wrong to assume that everybody is running after money. It is just that we have made money the currency or a common. Instead of being on barter system, if you're on barter system, if I gave you a ball, you will give me a bat, then we would be doing that. But now you can buy a ball and a bat with money. You can buy a home and a car with money. You can buy food and comfort with money. Now how they want to live? They don't want to live well, they want to live better than their neighbor. Because of that, money becomes important. Instead of simplifying transactions, it is complicated human life. That is because money is just a process, but a whole lot of people are beginning to think that money is a goal by itself. Money is not a goal, I want you to remember. It is only a process, it's an enabling process. If you want to buy food, you need money, if you want to buy comfort, you need money. But now, you're trying to buy a life with money, you will not succeed. Our whole idea of education is information and there is internet. A twelve-year-old child knows what is the name of the galaxy up there, a trillion light years away, which is not good for him. Because this is not knowledge, this is not of any usefulness, this is only for boastfulness. And above all, it'll take away your ability to pay attention. Memory is important to handle the material aspects. After all, an entrepreneur may be just trying to handle material. It's fine, but I would like an entrepreneur's life to become an exciting adventure, where he, his process of exploring new possibilities become truly new possibilities in his experience, not just economic possibilities. And that possibility is there in an entrepreneur's life, that he can turn his entrepreneurship into a spiritual possibility and a spiritual growth. Because success will come easy, not because of any magic, simply because you function at your full potential.